Hello everyone. In our Maths New Learning this week, we're going to be having a look again at sharing objects into two groups. And we're going to look at different numbers and explore what patterns we can find and see whether we can learn anything new from this. previous learning, we looked at halving numbers. Can you remember what that meant? That's right. That's when you share the number into two equal groups, two equal parts. So we're going to use our part, part, whole to practice doing a couple of those. So I've got a number. I've got the number four. So I need four counters, monkey. One, two, three three, four, and then we're going to share them equally so we have the same number in each of our parts. So we can come down the lines. So we've got one in each part, so that's the same. And we can do the same with these ones. Again, we've got an equal number. We've got two in this part and two in that part. So half of four was two in one part. Let's do another number. So let's put those back over there. Remember, we're halving, so it's got to be equal in the, both parts. So let's try the number eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we've got eight counters in our hole, and we've got to make sure that we share them equally. So I started off in one in each part. I've got two in each part. I've got three in each part. I've got four in each part. There's the same number in both of the parts, so they are equal. So half of eight is four. Have I got any left over? I haven't, have I? That's how we know that they've been shared equally. We're going to start off by playing a little game using our part, part, whole diagram. Now, Monkey's got some counters and I've got a pot of numbers. So I'm going to start off by choosing a number. What number have we got? The number three. So I'm going to put the number three up there, Monkey. And let's count out three counters into our hole. One, two, three. Now we're going to share our three counters, so that's our whole number, our three counters, into two, our two parts. So do you remember how we did that? So I'm actually going to take them down at the same time. So they've both got one in each part at the moment. Have I got any left over? I have, haven't I? Now, I've only got one left over. So I can't split this one, because it's a solid counter, to share it into the two parts. So I've discovered with the number three that I can share into my two parts, but I can't do it equally because I end up with one left over. Let's have a look at a number number. So let's give Monkey his counters back. Let's pop that one in the pot. Have another rummage. Ooh, what number have I chosen this time? It's the number five. How many counters do I need, Monkey? That's right, I need five. One, two, three, four, five. Should we share these ones into our two parts? So we can do those two together. So they've both got one each. Use these two. So they've got one each. How many have I got left now? Hmm. I've only got one again, haven't I? So I can't share that one into both the parts because I've got only got one left. So where I've shared five, I've shared two in one part, two in the other part, but I've got one left over, so it doesn't go equally. Hmm. 
This is quite interesting. Let's find another number. See what we find out this time. So let's have another rubbage. And we've got the number six. So that means I need six counters. Thanks, monkey. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we've got six counters, making our whole number six. Let's share them out into our two parts. Have we got any left over for the number six? We haven't, have we? We've managed to share those equally between the two parts. So we've actually managed to halve the number six exactly because they've gone into two equal parts. That's why it's a half. Mm. This is quite interesting. I'm going to give you a minute now to have a chat with your grown-ups about what you've noticed about these numbers that we've shared. When using the part-part-whole diagram, I don't know whether you notice it too, but I noticed that some numbers I could share equally and halve them, and some numbers I had one left over each time I shared them out. Let's explore that a little bit further. I'm going to use lots and lots of ten frames. I'm going to put a number underneath each ten frame. So I'm going to start off with the number one. And now we're going to explore sharing one. Now I've got one, I'll give one to you. monkey. Mm. One. Can I put one on this side? No, I can't, can I? Because I've only got one. So there's only one. I've got one left over. That one can't be shared equally because I can't put a matching one on the other side. Let's have a look at the number two. Two. So if we share out two, I can give one to monkey. And I can give one to me. One, two. Can I half two? I can. Half of two is one. It can be shared equally between Monkey and myself. I'm going to keep going now. Let's do number three. So one for Monkey. One. One for me. Two. Oh, another one for Monkey. Three. Oh, there isn't one more for me because I've only got three. I've got one left over. Wonder what happens if I do four? One for monkey, one for me, so that's two, three, and one more makes four. Oh look, we've both got the same. We can half four, can't we? There aren't any left over. Let's do five. So oh, monkey first. One, two, Three, four, five. Look, monkey's got more than me. There was one left over when we were sharing. Let's try six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ooh, we can half six because we've both got three each. Let's do seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ah, uh, can't half seven because I've got one left over. You can see that extra one in my tower. Let's do eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, one more than seven, eight. We can half eight, half of eight is four. We've both got the same. Let's do nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
Oh, monkey's got one extra. There's a one left over if we try to share those. And finally, let's do ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten can be shared equally between both of us. We both get five each. Well, what have you noticed about the numbers? Have you spotted a pattern at all? Let's have a look. Now one can't be shared equally. Two can. Three can't. Four can. Five can't. Six can. Seven can't. Eight can. Nine can't. But ten can. So we have got two patterns forming there. I'm going to cut out the tens frames and I'm going to rearrange them so that we can see those patterns. Now I've cut them out, I can move them around and I'm going to sort them into those that can be divided equally into two groups and those that have one left over. So I'm going to put the ones that have one left over at the top and oh, that one can be shared so I'm going to take that one out. Well, that one's got one left over. That one can be shared so I'm going to take that one out. That one's got one left over. Oh, that one can be shared, so I'm going to take that one out for the moment. That one's got one left over, so let's pop that one up there. That one can be shared. That one's got one left over. And that one can be shared equally. So let's put these other ones back down so you can see them. And I've got two patterns, as I said. I've got one, three, five, seven, nine, that can't be shared equally because they end up with one extra one left over each time. And then I've got my second pattern, two, four, six, eight, ten. And all these numbers can be shared equally with none left over. Now my top pattern are known as odd numbers. So one, three, five, seven, nine are all odd numbers. And as I said, that's because you can't share them equally and you end up with an odd one over. The other pattern is called even numbers. Two, four, six, eight, ten are even numbers because they can be shared equally and you don't have an odd one left over. So today we've been learning about odd and even numbers. Do you recognise these? They're our Numicon plates, aren't they? And if you've noticed that the shape of them, the odd numbers all have a little extra one on top. They've got that odd one sticking out at the top and the even ones they don't have that extra tower. We can sort these. So we'll put all the odd ones at the top. So I remember from what we just did that one is an odd number. Now two, does that have an extra bit? Because it has to go this way, the two. It doesn't, does it? So that's an even number. Let's have a look at the three. The three has the extra tower. So that's one's an odd number. The four, has that got an extra one? That hasn't got an odd one left over, has it? That's equal on both sides. Now let's put that with the even numbers. Let's have a look at number five. So we've got the extra odd bit on the tower there. So that's an odd number. And let's make sure we can still see them. Let's have a look at his six. Here's the six plate. And you can see. They are even, they can go in counting twos, two, four, six, that's an even number. Here's the seven plate, got two, four, six, oh no, there's an odd one on the top, so that's an odd number. Let's have a look at the eight plate, two, four, 
six, eight, no extra bit at the top, and that's an even number. Look at the line plate. Two, four, six, eight, and then there's the odd one at the top, so that's an odd number. And then our last plate, the template. You can count with me. Two, four, six, eight, ten. There's no extra odd bit at the top, so that is an even number. And you can see we have arranged our Numicon plates into the odd numbers and the even numbers. One, three, five, seven, and nine are odd. Two, four, six, eight, ten are even. Your first challenge is to look at the Numicon plates and decide are they odd or even. You can do this by looking at the shape of the plates, seeing if they have that extra odd bit on the top of the tower, or you can count the holes in the Numicon plates to decide. Remember, are they odd or even? In this challenge, you need to look at each picture and count the dots and then you need to decide if it is odd or even. Don't forget you can use your pop that hole diagrams and your counters to help you to work it out. Have fun with the challenge. Monkey and I hope you've enjoyed finding out about odd and even numbers today. We also wanted to let you know that zero is an even number as well. But this one's a little bit tricky to show. So the odd numbers are 1, 3, 5, 7 and 9 that we've explored today. And our even numbers 0, 2, 4, 6 and 8.